Hello everyone, I'm back for another episode of Kiara's Tech Adventures. Unfortunately, I was quite busy over Christmas, so I wasn't able to do a video then. But I now have some goodies to review for you guys. So, over Christmas I bought quite a few things. I bought um, Razor Orb Weaver, I bought the Razor Deathstalker, and I also bought a Razor Blade, which hasn't come yet, but I would also do a tech video on that when that comes in. With the Razor Blade, I actually got a free Razor Leviathan, which is what I'll be reviewing today along with the Orb Weaver. So, this is just a disclaimer, I've never had any products like these before, um, so I don't really have anything to compare them to. I have never had a Bluetooth speaker before, I've never had a keypad before, so if you're looking for me for comparisons on whether you should buy this or this, this definitely isn't the video for that. So, this here is the Razer Leviathan Mini. I would have thought it was a lot smaller because it said mini, but the Razer Leviathan is apparently like this big long, so yes, this is actually the mini version of it. It is a Bluetooth speaker. Let me turn it on. Yep. So basically, it's a wireless speaker that you can connect to Bluetooth on your phone, or you can also connect it um, through this little port here to your PC or phone or whatever. It comes with a little wire to do that. Um, basically it has five buttons, one is the power button right here, this is the Bluetooth button, this one here, you can't really see it very well, is the basically volume down, volume up, and then this is the pause button. It does have a microphone on it, um, so you can phone people, I don't know why, but yes I had it called before, and you can phone people from this. So I've never had a Bluetooth speaker before, so I don't know what I was expecting when I got it, but it is extremely loud. Like, I have it connected to my PC, and the volume on my PC is set to 16, and literally even I think that's too loud. It is an extremely loud speaker. Now this costs around £140, so I'm not sure like what the sound quality um, comparison would be with other speakers that cost this much, but um, my experience with most Razer stuff is that it is very bass heavy, and this is definitely very bass heavy. Like, I have most songs on this, and when you hold it, you can feel the vibrations very strongly. Like, I thought when I left it at the side, and I was playing some quite bass-heavy music, that it was going to vibrate and fall off, but... It does have this, like, little rubbery thing to keep it stuck down to whatever you have it on, so hopefully it doesn't do that. I do find it really handy. Um, one of the things I find really handy is... You probably can't see it, very small. That little mark there means that it is NFC. So basically you turn on the NFC function on your phone, you press it against here and it will pair automatically. I find that extremely handy so that you don't have to go through all the faff of Bluetooth pairing. But yeah, I wouldn't really buy one myself as I'm not really a big music on my phone fan. I just listen to it on my PC anyway. But hey, here's the Leviathan Mini. Now the Orb Weaver, this is something I actually went out and bought myself because I really wanted one. It is a keypad which has 25 buttons on. So here you can see you've got a wrist dress which is adjustable, there's like knobs on it. And it has the same switches, they are mechanical, and the same switches as my keyboard. Very loud and clicky. Um, it also has this little thing here which you can move around kind of like a mouse. Two buttons here and here. So basically your thumb would go on here. So I find it extremely useful because I don't have very good hand-eye coordination, so when I play games like MMOs, which have a lot of buttons, I usually end up binding them to like F1, F2, F3, blah blah blah, which isn't really very good, because usually their them buttons are bound to something else within the game, so then I've had to find other buttons to bind, and it gets really messy, because I can't, I literally cannot press Control 1 and Control 2, I just get, my hand gets too confused. So this has been very good for me, because I can just bind my skills to each individual button. You can also bind stuff like macros to these buttons. So not only can you do like control one as one button, just as a key press, you can do it as a macro. So like in your game, maybe you have to press, say, uh, I don't know, W once, and then five seconds later you need to press S. You can bind that to the one key and macro it. So basically within a Razer sign up software, you can choose a key, it will press it, and then you can put a delay on it, and then it will press the next key. You can do stuff like that. You can also do stuff like Windows shortcuts. Say you press, you want to press a button and Adobe Photoshop opens up. You can do that. 
So yeah, basically you can use it as an extension of your keyboard. So you have 25 extra buttons um, alongside your keyboard or you can use it as a one-handed keyboard just on its own then you're the hand on your mouse. So it is extremely good for gaming, at least for people like me. So that's all for today, but hopefully I'll be doing my videos once every two weeks again, um, depending on whether I have any holdups, hopefully not. Check my other channel, which is XPixieDust, for any updates. I usually update you on my vlog um, videos and also on my Facebook. I will post some updates on there. <laughs> so if you like the video, give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, give me a subscribe. Any comments below, just put them down there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.